today we're doing some quick band only exercises. Uh, this is for any time, mostly for to go up on the YouTube. So people have 20 minutes to work out before they have to take a shower. This is what we're gonna do. Um, so just three supersets, as many sets as you want. I'm just gonna do two of each to demonstrate, but you can do as many as you want and make it hurt. <laughs> because these movements are really good. They're just really easy and you need bare minimum equipment. It's gonna be really cool. So starting with face pulls. So I got my orange bands up there, medium tension. You do want the bigger bands for this. These ones are okay if you're just starting out. But I would just invest in some of these. Uh, they will be worth it. I use them almost every day. All right. Yeah. Already out of frame. So you can take one or two of these bad boys. So I'm gonna start with one. So you want to be pulling your shoulder blades together and your elbows in an arc while you're doing it. And this is just like a cable machine at the gym. So if you have access to the gym, you can do it there too. So I'm just squeezing the crap out of my posture muscles in my upper back, doing like, Eight to twenty-five reps, really. Here's two. You just want to get a good handle on them. That was good. All right. So the superset with this one is the legs. I'm using the lower hook. That was on the upper hook. I'm using my biggest band to hold me up. You can use multiple bands. It's really important actually to use multiple bands to hold you up if you only have a bunch of smaller ones. All right. Making sure it stays on the hook. Lean it back so that I'm putting the focus on my glutes and quads. I'm nice and wide. Just try to switch the camera around here. So this band is holding me up because it's really heavy. You might need to use multiple. This way I can get really deep. So those people with knee problems have a hard time getting this deep. This band is going to stop you from falling backwards almost. 90% of the way that is. And you can really feel your legs working. And it is a little tougher than it looks. The band doesn't help hold you up as long as you're not leaning all the way forward. So I'm even gonna grab a moderate weight just to show you that you can, but you absolutely don't need to. So really wide. And this, the weight puts even more tension on my legs. So I'll get a wider angle here. deep as you can. You want the band to spring you forward, you're pushing against it. That's actually going to help you out. So that's the setup. And we'll get a wider angle. Let's see, where do we go? All right. This might be a little better. Don't need the ground. You get to see the cursed part of the gym. <laughs> Garage gym. All right. So let me show you this one more time. So again, the whole point of this workout is that I already had a workout today. I am just wanting to put this up on YouTube. Just the leg is below, so all the workouts are going there. Okay. Alright, nice and far back. 
Going really low. Still not as zoomed out as I'd like, but that's okay. So the band lets me go as low as I want, put a lot of tension in the legs. And my feet to the ground, put some extra tension on my quads. Overall, it just makes it a little tougher than an air squat with more safety, and it feels really good on the lower back. So I think ideally I would have a barbell or some dumbbells be holding some sort of weight. A kettlebell would be perfect. Just hold it right in front of you. Go really low. You almost want the tension to be off of the band when you go so low so that it stops you from falling backwards on the way back up. If you're really pushing against it, it's all going to put more tension on the legs. That's what makes it really good. All right. So we do the face pulls a lot on the channel, so I'm just going to do a couple more of those at a different angle. Got my high hooks here. Remember the further you choke up on the band, the harder it is. So you just go to your, your comfort level or how tough it is. It's important, the angle is important. The high angle is really what matters, so make sure you do that. So that's the two moves, that's the super set. So if I were going 100% tonight, I would do this each three times. And we'll move on to the next one. Thanks for the follows, gentlemen. I appreciate that. All right, so the next one is band lunges, and this one's gonna be even harder, especially after that warm-up squat. Band lunges and chest press. So this is how I get them off. I climb on the chair. Like a toddler, remove them, put it on the middle so I can do the chest press. Okay, so I've got the big one down here for the banded lunges. My hair is having a day. Not quite. So if you're someone who's looking to do full body workouts, these bands are a worthy investment. Definitely good. Alright. So let me try to explain. I gotta be far away and I gotta talk loud. There we go. That might be good. Cool. Alright. Alright, putting this around my waist. I'm walking out so that it pulls me back if I weren't pushing against it. I'm just doing alternating legs. If you go one leg at a time, it's harder, so that's the next challenge. But so step back, but not all the way back to take the tension off the band. Just alternating. This is way harder than it looks. This is a you gotta try it thing. All right. So if I want to make it tougher, I make sure the band is still on the hook back there, and I walk all the way out. And if you go faster, it's kind of like a fun athletic move. You can do whatever you want with your hands. You can, if you're feeling badass, you can hold a weight. And I just side. This is this is hurting the old abductors here. Ooh, it's pulling me back. This is good. Try to go as deep as you can. You don't have to go below parallel. Just keep the pace up. Keep your heart rate up. Alright. That's that. If anyone has any questions about that move, feel free to ask. Hope that's a good angle. Because of the constant tension. 
So no matter where your arms are at, the bands are providing you some tension. You just gotta make sure your legs stick to the ground and your floor is not dusty. Hold it at the top and squeeze. Again, this isn't infinite weight, so I'm more focused on doing it at all and getting a bunch of reps. Um, really important tip, wherever you put your hands is entirely up to you. So if you like a neutral grip, that's fine. If you like an overhand grip, that's fine. I like something like 45 degrees. I'm trying to really get a squeeze. So I'll go back. Thank you. It was a gift from my sister-in-law. It is one of my favorite shirts. And I'm aiming for the bottom of my sternum because that's where I feel it the most. Pick a side, not the cursed side. We'll do the other side. Let's talk over the music. That should be good. Find out. All right, so I sip the water in between. I'm going right back to it. You could call this cardio adjacent. That's how fast it's going. That's fine. If you are doing full body workouts, your goal is probably not to build a whole bunch of muscles, so okay. Alright. Big steps, big steps. Alright, you don't have to walk further and further as you go because the band is going to pull you back or break. Doesn't matter. Really fun. Grab any weight and go turn towards the same side your legs are. Turn to the right, lots of core, lots of side core, the oblique supports. Harder on the legs and shoulders. That is way harder. Hard to add weight to it, only a bigger band, and that's the biggest one I think you can get. Alright. One more round of the chest flies. Breathing kind of hard. Alright, the back day. Keeping my core tight, I'm flexing my butt. Making it tough. Focusing on squeezing with my chest, not pushing with my arm. All right, so this is what an arm push would look like. I'm gonna watch that back. All right, and this is what a chest squeeze would look like. I'm going all the way to the center with my hands. And I'm pausing where I'm getting the most tension. And you can get as low as you want. More core, more balance that way. Wherever you have your band anchored, that's what you got to work with. So, mine's designed. Acting like it's fancy, it's not fancy. Mine is purposely up the exact height of where my uh, clavicular chest head is so that I get the most upper chest squeeze. So that was on purpose. So wherever you want to improve, that's where you put it. All right. That was the second super set. This image will be in the YouTube video. So here's this. Oh, this last one's going to feel so good. 
So this is like a cool down. So I would go really hard on the first two supersets, and then this last one is kind of to stretch you out. So it should just feel good. But you're definitely working. Okay. So we're gonna start with one medium band. We're gonna put it on the lowest hook. You can put this under any heavy weight as long as it doesn't move, right? Okay? Really important. You wanna hold on to each side so it doesn't pull the hairs off your neck. Because it's gonna be on my neck. If you're wearing a hoodie, that's ideal. You can also use a towel to put behind your neck. All right. Okay, so I'll show you the upper body portion first. I'll move the camera. I'm just getting a lot of tension on it. I'm not bending my knees, keeping my back flat, my back flat, can't really see. And I'm hinging instead of squatting. We did two movements with knee bend. This is one without knee, knee bend. Let's go back around this way. All right, first side of the gym. Get this angle. That should be good. Um, I want two, two bands. Um, two medium press bands is better than one more expensive one because we've used them a lot more. Okay, two bands. Grab it so I don't rip the hairs off my neck. Getting a good stretch, feeling good. Not bending my knees. And this is stretching my hamstring incredibly. My hamstrings in your butt should be working the most. If you feel this more in your lower back, you grab the band harder so that your lower back doesn't work as much while bending. All right, it's always good to work the posterior chain. A little bit of core in this one. So experiment with how far you can go, right? Squeezing my butt all the way up. Two bands takes a lot. That's tough. Uh. All right. It's the second part. Oh yeah. Second part of that with the camera again. This is one of my favorites. I've done this before. This exercise is nice and we'll be doing after Valentine's Day. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, same, got to stretch out the quads, you know, got to work out what you work so hard on. Okay, water heater view. This is really far away. Okay. All right, grab your little stool if you're five foot eight like me. Take your bands. This is the only time I have to switch the band during the workout, mid-set. So that's cool. Up top. Kick the chair out of the way. Legs wherever. Crunch machine at the gym. So the crunch machine in the gym is the two handles here, right? And you have your elbows on the pad or not. And you're just focused on getting the top of your rib cage down to your pelvis. So that's all I'm doing with the band. And this is purposely with the other movement so that my back goes in the right spot. Don't move your arms. That's the biggest thing. Once you find a good spot for your arms, don't move them. For me, it's just behind my, behind my head. I'm trying to bend my lower back, trying to use my core, trying not to flip my glasses off my face. When two bands gets tough, you let go of one, just go to the other. Mechanical drop set. All right, that's that. Kind of far away. So you're getting as much crunch action as you can. I'm only using my core because my arms aren't moving. That's really important. Good. 
Okay. I mean, obviously on YouTube you'll be able to rewind and rewatch the the movement for the other one. But I'll do it one more in case there's some new people in here. This is a really short short stream. I'm just trying to build a library of at-home exercises people can do on the cheap right now. Especially when I get my clients back. They're gonna need to know what to do at home in between our workouts. Alright, camera too low. Cool. Um, my favorite exercise out of all these is easily the ones where you're doing the front lunges because it's so much harder than it looks. It's such a great lung burner too. Um, you could definitely call it cardio over strength training, but your legs will get better at it, so better, stronger. Okay. Good grip on the bands, my hands, almost straight legs, not locking my knees. Down, squeeze the butt. You kind of want your legs back so that you're hinging pretty far. If you feel your back rounding, it might be, so take a step closer and relax. Drive your heels in the ground. One last tip with that one, if you feel your toes pressing into the ground, you are probably going too far forward and doing too much with your biceps, so don't do that. Alright, breath time. Alright. One more sideways for the crunch. Getting different angles today, that's cool. If anyone has any questions, so it's going on the top hook. Feel free to hit me with those, because I'm almost done. Did some rows today. So there's so many where I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do more of these shorter videos where I do band supersets, because that's the lowest barrier of entry cost-wise into working out at home. So that's just the best place to start really. And these are, if you go on the website, they like start at like 25 and go up to like 120 pounds, the orange one, so it's, it's heavy. So with two bands, stretching at a quarter of the length, it's like something like 80 pounds combined, or if you put 80 pounds on the heavy crunch machine at the gym. So arms behind the head. If you can help it, your feet should be uh, even with each other so you don't have one side of the core working harder than the other. You can put your hands here if that feels better. How much was it too? So even those last three where I didn't feel like I was moving very far, it was pretty good range of motion. So. That's what you want to keep in mind when you're doing that. All right. So. Cool. I hope to have the energy to do some leg stuff tomorrow. Probably some more challenging stuff. Just like a regular workout, but this is, the, this is what you get here. Catch these on sale, they're really cheap, so. Cool. I wish I got a kickback, but they don't need my help. All right. Cool. I will see you guys on the internet. Thank you for stopping by, and feel free to go follow YouTube, uh, leave some comments or whatever. I'll be really behind it. There's like no, no comments on there right now, but one day soon.